For 34 years, the memorial to murdered Prime Minister Olof Palme has been the most solid thing about a case that has haunted Sweden. A man both loved and hated at home and abroad, Palme was shot and killed on Stockholm's busiest street as he walked with his wife Lisbeth. Palme had been to the cinema with his family without a bodyguard, a decision that would end in one of the biggest and longest murder investigations in the world. Olof Palme and his wife left the cinema at about quarter past 11 on the night of 28th of February 1986, walking past the churchyard where Palme would soon be buried. When they got to this corner, someone came up behind them, shot Palme in the back, leaving the Prime Minister dying on the ground. The murder scene was immediately contaminated by mourners laying flowers, one of a string of mistakes that cut the chances of finding the killer. This man, Krista Pettersson, was convicted in 1989 but cleared the same year. On Wednesday, Sweden's prosecutor, coincidentally also called Krista Pettersson, announced a new chief suspect. Stieg Engström, previously a witness known as the Scandia Man because of the insurance company where he worked, and who opposed Palme's socialist policies. Engström killed himself 20 years ago. We can't open proceedings or interview him, so my decision is to close the investigation as the suspect is deceased. The naming of Engström, still without any physical evidence linking him to a murder weapon, appears to put to bed the international leads the investigation had followed. Those included the Kurdistan Workers' Party, after the killings of defectors in Sweden led Palme to declare them a terrorist organisation. While in the 1990s, South African intelligence agents said their colleagues had been behind the Prime Minister's murder, following Palme's support for the African National Congress and condemnation of the apartheid regime. Swedish journalist Thomas Pettersson named Engström as the likely suspect in a book in 2017. I'm glad that they come to the same conclusion as I did, that he is the, the, the killer. He's our most internationally famous um, politician, Olof Palme, and he's some, some kind of symbol for, for uh, perhaps the best of Sweden. And this unsolved case has been tormenting us. Olof Palme was that most unusual of Swedish prime ministers, one who had an impact outside his own country. His anti-colonial and anti-racist views made him a fierce critic of global superpowers. While at home he raised taxes to fund the welfare state and welcomed immigrants. Those policies may have put him into the grave in which he has lain for more than three decades. The love that many Swedes have for him has endured, but as the case is closed, it looks likely that the unanswered questions will endure as well. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Stockholm.